Good morning. We're back here at 1 Samuel chapter 22, and we're looking today at verses 16 through 19. As we're continuing to see, the, the King Saul is very uh, determined that people are all against him, and he's contemplating great evil. He's called the priests to account. They've given him their account. And now he doesn't believe them. Let's see what happens next. And the king said, You shall surely die, Ahimelech, you and all your father's house. Then the king said to the guards who stood about him, Turn and kill the priests of the Lord, because their hand also was with David, and because they knew when he fled and did not tell it to me. But the servants of the king would not lift their hands to strike the priests of the Lord. And the king said to Doeg, You turn and kill the priests. So Doeg the Edomite turned and struck the priests and killed on that day eighty-five men who wore a linen ephod. Also Nob, the city of the priests, he struck with the edge of the sword both men and women, children and nursing infants, oxen and donkeys and sheep with the edge of the sword. So the priests have given their account. They said that we didn't do anything. Saul says, okay, summarily he judges them. They're going to be killed. Now, the Bible does tell us that with what judgment you judge others, you yourself will be judged. And so to the merciful, God will be merciful, and so on. Saul isn't really scoring too well in that area, is he? So he's going to kill the priests of the Lord? I mean, this is, this is, this is over the top. The soldiers that are there, these are, these are the king's top guards and stuff. He says, kill the priests, and they say, ah, we're not doing that. So that's very interesting to me. Saul did not, he couldn't get them to do this. They, they knew it was wrong. Everybody in the room knew it was wrong except Saul. Maybe Saul knew it was wrong, but he was going to do it anyway. Sometimes you have a case where they refuse to obey this, uh, this murderous order. So the king's servants will not kill the priests, but Doeg the Edomite is quite willing. And so the king just commands Doeg, you do it, and he does. He kills he kills 85 men, and then he goes to the city of Nob. He kills men, women, children, you know, every kind of animal that's there. It's, it's, a, it's a slaughter of hundreds, uh, at least hundreds of people altogether. And so that's what you have. This is a, a terrible atrocity. It was totally wrong. It was unjust. But the king demanded it, and that's what we got. So what happens when you have an unjust judgment like this? What does God do with this? Is this... Is, does he approve this? Because like Saul is the king, so like he can just murder whoever he wants. He can just have anybody he wants killed. Is when the government, uh, when the president of a nation he issues a uh, an executive order, you know, can he just say kill these guys over here? Is that okay? Is God okay with that? Uh, <laughs> the Bible teaches us in the middle of the Ten Commandments, no less, "Thou shalt not kill." And so there is a temporary allowance for some killing in, in this temporary period of this conflict between good and evil, the war there between good and evil. And we know that in the end, Satan and his angels are going to be destroyed because they are totally unrepentant and nothing God is, does will get them to repent. So they would ultimately destroy every living thing unless God intervenes. So God's going to intervene and end them. We know that. So here we have a king who's out of control. The soldiers aren't willing to kill the priests, good for them, but now here's where they fall down because when e when Doeg the Edomite said, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be glad to do it and, and pull out his sword to do it, the soldiers should have intervened right there and said, ah, uh -uh, no, we're not going to kill the priests. Get a grip on yourself. This isn't something we're going to do. We're not going to allow Doeg the Edomite over here to do it either. But they were kind of left confused, didn't know what to do. And they had this wrong viewpoint of authority that the king can basically order whatever he wants or a president can order whatever he wants and you just have to do it. And they, what should have happened is the soldiers should have stood up and said, no, not only are we not going to do this, but we will not allow this injustice to happen. We will not allow Doeg the Edomite to do it. Absolutely not. Uh, we work together with people as much as we can, but there are lines that can't be crossed. There are things that are legitimate uses of authority. There are things that are illegitimate uses of authority. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, even as the priests were killed here by the score, by the hundreds, and their families slaughtered. But there will be times when we perhaps need to stand up and resist even to, to our, with our lives, resist evil to its face, and pray, Lord, that you will intervene and protect us according to your great wisdom. And help us to not be caught in a moment of confusion and evil happens before we kind of figure out what we're supposed to do. Help us to be right with you all the time. We ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. May God be our helper in every emergency we find ourselves in, and we will find ourselves in emergencies, and we need to know in the moment. We need to already know. God be with you today.